Hi, I'm Vicki Murphy. I'm a Jira line expert at XBM, which is a platinum solutions partner with Atlassian. In this video, I'm going to be digging into the new objectives tree experience, which was updated in Jira Align with the release of version 10.112 on October 7th of 2022. Let's go ahead and jump into the tool. If you aren't familiar with the objectives tree, its overall purpose is to help us see the hierarchy of goals and objectives in Jira Align. Uh, this first release of this new experience does focus primarily on objectives and key results. In some of the areas of this experience, it mentions that goals will be integrated in future releases. So I will be focusing primarily just on objectives and key results today. Um, objectives in JIRA Align are high-level goals that teams, programs, solutions, and portfolios achieve through the delivery of work. In uh, uh, most cases, we see this being used to really help communicate the desired outcome from both a technical and a business perspective. Many of you uh, who have worked with JIRA Align um, have probably already noticed that we have some major UI updates with this experience. Uh, we are seeing Atlassian break away from the traditional JIRA Align uh, user interface and really shifting more towards the UI we see in other Atlassian cloud tools. This is a really exciting update to see. We hope to see this in other areas of JIRA Align as well. Um, and it's really cool to get this uh, first look at what that may may look like. Let's go ahead and take a tour of what we see here. As, like, as with uh, most areas of JIRA Align, the context bar up here at the top does apply. That context bar really serves as a giant filter, filtering uh, down what actual information we are viewing. So that does apply to this page, but then we do have some in-page filters to narrow down even further. First, we can choose the level or tier of objective or goal we want to view. Objectives and goals do have a hierarchy on JIRA Align, starting with a team objective that can link to a program, uh, that can link to a portfolio objective. From here is where we start to link to those upper level uh, goals. Again, we're going to mostly focus on this objective section here. I'm going to leave this at portfolio uh, so that we can get the most out of this demonstration. We can then narrow down to what specific portfolio we want to view. Again, I'm just seeing one because my context bar does have a selection in it. We can narrow down what program increment or PI we want to view. And then there are some filters to narrow down further based on um, a text search, um, uh, specific statuses, owners, or only my objectives. Um, this is something that we see in other lasting tools like Jira software on our agile boards. It's really easy to filter down to just your work. It's cool to see that being integrated here as well. I'm going to skip past this quick filter section for a moment and jump down to the grid that we see here. This is our objectives um, hierarchy. So uh, like other hierarchical views in JIRA Align, like our backlog views, uh, we are able to expand uh, this hierarchy to actually see the full uh, list here. So starting with a portfolio objective, I have a child program objective and then a child team objective here. And we can collapse all of these as well. Like most grid views in Align, we are able to see the work item number and the title here as well. And then we see our statuses. So um, most work items in Jira Align do have a status. Um, most of them are unique to that work item, and that is no different here with objectives. Um, like all of the other fields for objectives, we can edit the status from the uh, details panel. So if I open this up, um, the details panel over here on the right, the status field is about halfway down my screen here. One thing that I want to point out is you are going to see about 10 statuses here. Um, on the objective tree view, these quick filters of on track, at risk, there's also one for off track and completed, do work specifically with those specific statuses. So uh, the first three you see here and then completed. The other uh, statuses that you have, you can still absolutely use. They just not will be included in those quick filters. So I just want to call that out. If you're planning to utilize those um, uh, quick filters heavily, you may want to work with your users to make sure that they are selecting those um, uh, statuses here. You'll also notice that um, next to some of these statuses, there is a little number. And that number um, deals with the um, uh, check-in score from the objectives key results. 
Objectives in JIRA Align uh, can have key results, and I will open this up so you can see one. And key results really represent or outline how we will uh, measure success for that objective. The combination of objectives and key results, often referred to as OKRs, really help us focus on outcomes we hope to achieve during a specific time period, like a program increment or a year. Um, key results are represented heavily in the objective tree. And like I said, I'm going to scroll down on this objectives detail panel to the bottom in the link section here, we have key results. And let me move my camera just so you can see here. Um, once key results are created, we can give it a target metric here. We can also put in a baseline where we're at today, and then we can update this current metric as well. And this is what we refer to as checking in. To do this, uh, users can press the ellipses next to the key result and press check in. Here we're able to say uh, where we are at today. So maybe we have achieved um, 50%. And when we update that, it updates our overall score here. We can see the percentage that we've achieved as well as that represented in a decimal value. Um, this scale goes from one to zero. I wanna call out, it doesn't go into the negative. If you put in a negative um, amount, it will just show zero here. We then see that score um, represented, if I can X out of this, um, in the key results area at the top of the, ooh, excuse me, at the top of the um, objectives, uh, objective details panel, and then again over in the um, objective tree here. Something I wanna call out about the status in the key results field. These are manual uh, fields. So as we are checking in, we will update that score. Um, and then we uh, are going to need to manually update that status field. So if you haven't already, I recommend working with your um, stakeholders and establishing really what value we want to consider at risk, off track or on track here. This color coding is automatic, but again, we have to manually set that status field. So you'll notice in some cases we're saying on track, but uh, the key result is highlighted yellow. If you want this to line up, you will need to really establish that. Um, we recommend documenting that and sharing it with your users. Real quick, uh, before I move off of the status field, I just want to demonstrate the quick filters so we can select any of these and it will filter down the list based on that status. All right, moving on with the rest of the grid, this work progress column um, lets us view the overall um, completion of work attached to our objectives. So you can link objectives to your other work items, depending on what level of objective uh, you are working with will depend or will determine what item you can link it to. Often, uh, if we are uh, linking these, it means that the work item, when we complete that, it will help us achieve the objective. I'm going to go ahead and open this uh, objective up just to show you that at the bottom, again, in that link section here, I can see that I have two epics linked to this portfolio objective. Here, when I expand that, I can see I have completed one of the objective or sorry, one of the epics. It is in the accepted state and I have not completed the other. And that is where this 50 percent complete comes uh, in this bar. Like a lot of areas of JIRA line, if you hover over these uh, uh, progress bars, it will tell you more information, like I'm 50% complete, one of two items accepted. This does uh, focus uh, only on that accepted state. So um, if an item is uh, accepted, then it will highlight the bar. If not, it will not highlight anything. So it's not really looking at the in progress or any other states. Next, we have two columns that again deal with key results. This is the key result progress. This is the same thing as the score only represented in that percentage. So really your number over here next to your status and your bar here should be uh, pretty close to the same. We have a 54% uh, uh, completion here. Uh, we have a 0.5 score here. Moving forward, we can see just the number of key results that are linked to the objective and then some more details like what program increment or PI is linked to the objective, who the owner is, and then the team that is working on it. Um, depending on your level of objective, we'll determine what team value you see here. This portfolio objective has my portfolio team. If I expand, I then see my program and I can see down to an agile team at the uh, team objective layer. If you set a target completion for your objective, you can visualize that here. This also plays into the roadmap um, in JIRA Align. 
And then the actions column. Um, this column seems to have a little bit um, uh, more coming to it. If you actually hover over this icon, it tells you that goals will be integrated in a future release. So it seems like we may see some changes here. At this time, if you click on this, uh, it will bring you to the objectives tree. This is a slightly interactive area. Um, you're able to see that top layer. Right now it goes up to that portfolio objective, and then we're able to expand that if we want to. Here uh, for each objective, you can see the title, the key results progress, as well as the check-in score, the um, excuse me, the uh, aligned objectives are just the number of child objectives that it has, and then the uh, number of key results along with the owner. I see this being used most often for um, a, a presentation, really, of our objectives to get a, a look at the entire hierarchy here. Move my camera again here. Uh, there are some zoom in and zoom out buttons in the bottom right if you are um, uh, looking at a very large tree and then you can use the close button or the X in the top left to get out of this view. Uh, at the time of this recording, which is early October 2022, we are able to still go back to the legacy experience. So if you're using the JIRA Align um, objective tree and you uh, want to go back and compare that uh, that uh, legacy to the new experience you can. Again, you notice here looking at the legacy experience that there is a, a, a large UI update in the new one. And we can go back to the new experience here. Atlassian has said that the legacy experience will ultimately be deprecated, although they have not told us uh, when that will be exactly at this time. I also uh, want to mention that if you are watching this video after October 7th, 2022, and you don't see this new experience in your tool, do reach out to Atlassian in the latest release notes of uh, version 10.112. They did mention that existing JIRA line customers prior to October 7th, 2022 will need to reach out to have this turned on. Um, so uh, if you have a test or a development environment, I recommend turning it on there first, getting uh, your experience with it and then turning it on in your production. Atlassian recommended reaching out to your solutions architect if you have one. If not, a technical account manager or a um, support team member should be able to help you with this as well. It does seem like we will continue to see updates with this experience um, in upcoming versions. We will make updates to this playlist as those changes are released, so please do follow along. And that is all we have today uh, with the Objectives Tree uh, new experience. So thank you very much for joining me, and as always, good luck on your JIRA line journey.